So there are times that I struggle with this and I know that my kids do it and I have to find ways to navigate myself and find ways to redirect my kids. I know everyone does this at one point or, or another and people that don't, I don't know, they've either come up with a good way to navigate their emotions and they have solutions for it or they stuff it all down and someday it comes up for them in another form. So today let's tap on dealing with complaining and whining. So think about a time where you were just so frustrated or you felt misunderstood or something happened that didn't go as well as you had hoped that it would. I'm sure you probably don't want to imagine your kids complaining or whining. That's okay. But we can practice on ourselves and use tapping to see how we can kind of work through those emotions and release those feelings of just being frustrated and wanting to complain about a situation. So go ahead and take it to the karate chop point and repeat after me. And if there's some words that maybe don't quite go along with your situation, that's okay. There will be a few things that will connect with you and you can come up with your own words if you'd like to. Here we go. So even though complaining just feels horrible every time I do it, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I get really annoyed with myself when I default to complaining about a situation because I'm mad and disappointed, so frustrated, I still love and accept myself. Even though I do complain, and sometimes maybe I do whine, just like my kids. And I don't know why I do it every time, because I know it's not the right thing to do. But I still love and accept who I am right now. Take it to the eyebrows. Complaining, it just feels horrible. Side of the eye. I really don't like to complain under the eye, but I feel like I'm just not heard. Under the nose and stuff just flies out of my mouth. Sometimes it feels like it's so out of my control. Chin. And I don't mean to be nasty about it. I'm just really, really frustrated. Collarbone. And it's not that I don't appreciate things. I don't want to come across that way. Sometimes I am just mad and the complaining just starts. Under the arm. And I don't feel heard. Top of the head. And maybe that's how my kids feel as well. They just feel like they're not heard or understood. Eyebrows. I really want a different kind of system or have a way to hold myself accountable. Side of the eye. So that I can catch myself when I'm complaining. It doesn't mean I can't talk to somebody about things that are difficult under the eye, but I just want to do it in another way. Under the nose, because complaining just feels harsh and it feels horrible. Chin, and it probably feels bad when I'm talking to someone else and I'm complaining. Collarbone, and I am not going to stuff it all down because that feels even more horrible. We're not meant to stuff it all down. Under the arm. 
it doesn't make us righteous to not complain. Top of the head, it's just probably the way that we do it. Eyebrows. So if I think about when my kids complain, it makes my head hurt, especially the whining. Side of the eye. I'm sure that my spouse or friends don't care to hear me do it either. <laughs> Under the eye. So I am open to all sorts of solutions. Under the nose. Trying to redirect myself to better ways of getting something off my chest or finding better solutions or feeling heard. Chin. I could start by journaling and writing all of my thoughts down. And that way I can see my thoughts and I can acknowledge them. Collarbone. And maybe I'll even write some things out that I wouldn't have even thought of before because I'm just letting it all flow under the arm, I can pray, I can meditate, I can go for a walk, top of the head, I can do some self-talk if I need to. Sometimes I can be my own best listener. And that's probably true for our kids, they just need a good listener. Eyebrows. There are lots of different ways that we can express frustration that we have. Side of the eye. And by redirecting ourselves and using these tools under the eye, we are showing our kids all the possibilities of how they can do that for themselves. Under the nose, but I'm gonna be real here. I'm still human. Chin, so I'm not perfect, but I can keep trying to do better and better. Collarbone, and isn't that what we ask of our kids? And isn't it good for our kids to see we are human, we are not perfect? Because that really does put a lot of pressure on them if they think that we do no wrong under the arm. I can be a good role model for my children, showing them all the ways to deal with frustration and not being heard when things don't go the way we think they will. Top of the head. And that feels good knowing that I don't have to have all of this figured out. Parenting is a journey. We never fully arrive, ever. And just acknowledging that takes away a lot of frustration. Eyebrows. I can't expect perfection out of myself. No one's perfect. Side of the eye. I can't expect perfection out of my child. No one is perfect. Under the eye. I'm going to try some of these new tools. Maybe I've tried them before and then I stopped, but I'm gonna follow through. Under the nose, maybe even accountability with a sibling or a friend or a spouse to help me along. Chin, and I'm not gonna judge myself if I find myself complaining one day, I just know I can stop and redirect and use a new tool or a new way of communicating. Collarbone. What a great parenting skill that I'm learning and I'm passing on to my kids. Under the arm. I'm a great parent and I'm human and I'm doing the best that I can. Top of the head. And one great tool to help with frustration, disappointment, all of that is tapping. I can tap away and just keep tapping and tap out 
all of those feelings that I want to express through complaining or whining. And I can even keep, teach my kid to do that too. Okay, go ahead and take a deep breath. Okay, so hopefully you got some great ideas from this tapping round and know that you are a great parent. And I want to continue to support you with tapping and um, showing you just different ways where you can tap into emotions that are negative and change them into a positive. So going from complaining and whining to learning more about ourselves through tapping and journaling and communicating with each other and passing that on to our children. What a gift that is. So until next time, bye.